Good morning, I hope you're all well. Now, for those of you who watch my channel, you know it's quite varied on some of the bits and pieces I do. Some parts I turn on the lathe, some bits I build like a bench, restore a bench, fix a washing machine, so on and so forth, and repair vehicles. Um, I'm no expert in any of them. Um, but today, <coughs> I'm going to fix my van. My van needs a timing chain. Um, I was running it the other day and I, I heard a, a, a bit of a rattle and some knocking going on. Um, it sounded like something was tapping against some sort of metal. And I have put my hand over the uh, timing chain case and that's where it was all coming from. So I'm going to change that. Now, <clears throat> I wasn't originally going to video this because I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Um, but I, what I've done, I've, I've taken it all apart. I've got down to the timing chain. And what I'm about to do is video me putting the new timing chain on. I've looked on YouTube for um, a timing chain for my van <clears throat> to be replaced. And um, the only ones I can find, it's in Polish or Russian or, or something like that. Um, and I don't, I don't really know what's going on. Now, disclaimer here, like I said, I'm no expert. I'm sure there'll be loads of people out there that say I'm doing it wrong and so on and so forth. I, I accept that. Um, but he, I'm willing to give it a go. Let's carry on, shall we? So here's my little van. Um, I converted this into a camper van uh, about two years ago, I think it was. Um, and it's been absolutely fantastic. There is a, a video of me of, of doing some of the um, the van, but I didn't video all of it. So, um, but anyway, um, so <coughs> it's a Peugeot Boxer, and I'm about to show you. Oh. <coughs> where the chain is. So I've stripped this all down and um, it's take, it took me, I did this last week, it took me uh, nearly eight hours to strip it down um, and I know that's excessive but those of you that watch my channel that know me uh, know I have a spinal condition um, after having an accident so um, I'm not as fast or as nimble on my feet as I used to be. So um, this has turned into a bit of a task. But I'll, uh, I'll show you the chain. So that's what I'm up to. There's the chain there. So I'm gonna take that chain off and put new ones on, a uh, new one on. Um, you've got new cogs, new um, guides, um, new hydraulic um, adjuster, yeah, going to replace the whole lot. Now when I was taking it apart, my brother is a mechanic, <coughs> he warned me to be really careful when you take the uh, timing chain cover off and, and as you see I was really careful when I took it off. <laughs> um, yeah, I was so careful. Um, so I've now got a banana shaped um, timing chain cover, but I ordered myself a new one, that's what that is there. Cool. Right, let's get on. So before I get started, I'll just get the light. So I don't know if you can see them, I've got these little pins, these ones here, I tap it with my torch, that one there, and that one there, okay, so they hold the cams at the top, and then down the bottom here, like this, there, I've got one holding the bottom as well, okay, so that will only reach across to this, to this bolt here, and that's an ex exact position so that's been held in position now and then down the back here 
we got another locking key that goes onto the flywheel where the flywheel sensor is. Um, I can't get around the back. It was so difficult. I didn't film it, but it was so difficult to get in there. Um, I'll see if I can get this down and around the corner. I'm, I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, I can't even get the camera in there. That's how difficult it was. <clears throat> can't even get the camera in there. So, yeah. Um, but what I did, I've got a, a um, camera on a stalk. All right, I think you can just see that. What I'll do, I'll, I'll point it out. Um, so it's that that metal bar just sticking out in the center of the picture there. So um, I'll show you the device that it is up in the left hand corner of the screen and what that does that drops into the flywheel and um, locks the flywheel up so that's held nice and steady so none of the engine will move now so the next stage will be to remove the pressure off the chain by removing this hydraulic adjuster um, so there's two 8mm nuts that need to come off or 8mm bolts actually. That's that one. So that's oh. oh that's that out. Um and a good job I changed it really. This adjuster was at full extension. So that would probably indicate that the uh, chain is stretched slightly. So now I've released that, <coughs> that's released the chain. <laughs> now I can take this guide off. And this guide just slides over, it doesn't need to be unbolted, it just slides over the, get that off, like that. Okay. So that's that out. Next thing is take oh, what I will, I will do. I don't know if this is all in the right order. But I'm sure it won't matter too much. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's take the other guide off the other side. So up the top here, and um, by the way, all these are, all these um, bolts down here are eight mil. Um, these I think are thirteen. They are. So they're all loose. So I'm not going to take them off yet. I'm just going to take this out. Again, that's 8 mil.
So if you have a look at this, I don't know if you can see, but we've got wear marks through here. And this is the new one. So let's put the new one in. So I've had to fettle around with this. Um, so these have got elongated slots. So I've put the bolt holes in the center of the slots and then done them up. And what I found is when I, I've looked back on the video, when I released these, they moved slightly. So I just need to move them back to get the pins back in exactly the same places where they were before I started. So the way I'm doing that is I've got new ruler. There we go. Okay. so. So the arrow needs to be pointed upwards, so get it roughly upwards, and then when you feel the pin, put the pin in, it'll find the slot behind there, just like that. Now that's in, and that's why they was difficult to take out, because there was pressure on them. Um, but now the arrows are pointing straight up, and that's exactly where it was before I started. Fab. So, chains off it's here I need to release this um, that's holding the um, main um, shaft there I need to release that but it's okay because it's being held the other side by the other pin which is why the other pin gets put in and then I need to release the pressure off this chain at the back here which is for the oil pump and then uh, remove this cog and put the new one on So just going to remove this now. So this is a 15 mil nut or bolt. I keep saying nut. Nice and gently. And we take this locking device off. These bolts are quite long. That's it. So these are the bolts that hold the flywheel on for the um, alternator and other bits. Oh. Right. So that's that, that's the chain off. Now, we need to get a torque bit there so that is I'll uh, tell you what size that is it's a 40 <coughs> okay so I don't need, I need the smaller one now this is probably going to be really tight oh we don't want you moving Okay, I come up with a plan, so I put the bolt in, I put this on this side to do it up, I put this one on this side to undo it, and it's undone it nicely. So all I need to do now is undo this one, a bit of shock treatment, there we go, perfect. Okay, I'll just replace this and I'll be back with you in a moment. So I've done, I've undone it, I pulled it off and I nearly lost my chain down into the sump 
lucky I was quick enough, I caught hold of it. Um, so be careful, so make sure that when you take it off that you put a bolt in just to hold the chain in place while you get the new one ready. <clears throat> and here's the new one. There, it's the old one again. You see a little bit of elongation on the on each teeth. So it definitely needed replacing. So they take the pressure off of this. Take that out. This is where it probably gets a bit fiddly. Take it out so I don't drop. And then put this back in. There we go. Find the bolts. There we go. That's that in. Just do that up finger tight. Then place this back on. Like so. That's it, lovely. So, what I need to do now is get the chain and put the chain in place and then put the um, bracket that holds this back into place to make sure it's in line because um, we need to make sure that these um, time up with the um, cogs at the top there with the cam. So I'm just going to place the chain from the top here. Now I'll just quickly show you actually on the chain <coughs> it does have these markers on here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, there. So there's two of them that need to line up with the arrows at the top. And once I put it on, I'll show you. So I've put the chain on, on the top here. Um, and what I had to do is loosen these off. What I didn't account for was, uh, although the chain came off of um, these cogs at the um, when I took the chain off, I didn't account for the wear on these two. So these are not worn, obviously, because they're new. Um, so when I put them in, try to put the chain over the top and it wouldn't go. So I had to release these, just loosen them off, bring them forward slightly just to keep them away from the casing and then um, put them on. So I had to do that on both sides. But I did it in the end. Let's go down underneath. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this back in, in place. And um, because it's just slightly out. I'll put the bolt back in. Just so I'm 100% satisfied that it's in the right place. So now I'm happy that that's in place, I'm going to put this guide in, which is...
bolts are done up. And we're nearly done. <clears throat> we fit in this chain. Just going to double check these. I don't know if you can see. Just about maybe. I'll bring them up here. Just double check these, make sure they're done. And then that should be it. And I'll pull the pin out of the adjuster and that should shoot the guide across to keep it taut. And that should be it. The rest of it looks quite tight. The marks here are with the arrows on both sides. The timing or the plate keeps the the bottom end of the engine in its position. These pins keep the top end in position so it shouldn't move anywhere with the added extra security of the flywheel pin. So let's just double check the bolts. See you in a minute. So all the bolts are done up nicely. So I just need to pull this pin here out. Oh. So that now applies the pressure onto this guide and keeps the chain taut. Now, before I change this chain, the old one, which is here, was exactly like that. When I put the two, I didn't film it, I should have done. Um, when I put the two chains together, um, there was about a, I don't know, 10 mil difference in the length um, where it's been stretched. And this here is at its full extension. It does push in. And that's it. Cool. Now, let's start getting this thing back together. I need to release this, release the pins from the top, which I won't bore you with. And let's see what's happening. So, um, I'm just about to put the flywheel sensor in, and you can't see where the bolt goes unless you're a contortionist, which I am most certainly not. Um, so, what I'm going to do is to hold the bolt in the end of the socket here, I've got a rubber glove and I've doubled it over and pushed the bolt in. Now that's nice and sturdy in there. So when I have a feel around, I'm not going to drop the bolt in the back of the engine where I can't find it. Top tip. So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just going to turn the in, um, turn it over twice. Not turn it over by the key, but uh, just turn it over by hand and just make sure that it's free and not locking up. That's good. That's good. That's that. Well, now. It's time to start putting it all back together. So, like I showed you, I uh, bent the old plate, pulling it off, um, which is not surprising really in the room that we've got working in. Um, so, I just need to, I put the seal in here, and I've got the sealant. This is high temperature sealant um, to go around the edges. All the um, engine block side of things is all cleaned off and ready to go. Just to show the old one. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it slightly got bent putting it off. So.
Okay. Um, I'm really sorry, but my battery went. And then the heavens opened up. And uh, I don't really like getting my camera wet, so uh, I didn't do uh, much um, recording. But put the um, cover back over the timing chain, put the engine mount back on, goes through here, put all of the um, bottles back in and wash bottle because you have to take all of that out. Okay. Um, put the put the cover over the belts for the um, alternator and air conditioning pumps um, yeah so I've nearly finished um, I'm not going to do any more now it's taken uh, three days so far to do what I've been doing um, I have to take it easy so uh, <clears throat> yeah I'm looking forward to finishing so the engines actually running and uh, I'll just uh, start her up and let you have a listen I think I think that'd be a grand idea let's stick you back there Pleased with that. Put the air box back in. Yeah, so I just need to put the lights in. The panel here and the lights that go on the top here. Um, the bonnet, I'm going to put that back on in, a, in a, just a bit. Um, and then all the front part of this bumper, all the way across here. And then that's uh, done. Finished. Finito. Um, um, also done a, an oil change and filter change as well. Um, when you're doing a timing chain, it exposes the sump where it goes down to the oil pump. Um, you don't know what goes down there while you're uh, fiddling around doing your bits and pieces. So um, it's always a good idea to change your oil and and put a new filter on. Okay. So that's all I've got time for, to be honest. Um, I won't be uh, fixing the van for another five days now when I go back to work. So um, I need to have a little bit of rest now. Um, yeah, that's it. Well, there you go. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And just remember, okay, I'm no mechanic. So if you've got any comments, uh, of any, any which way that you could have helped or I could have done it different, please leave the comments below. So that's the uh, timing chain completed running well. I'm really happy with that. Next thing is to put all the body panels back on. And we're going to take it from this into to this. Done. Bit dirty. Here's washed. I'm not scared. I can deal with that. What a job. What a job. A job well done. I would say I enjoyed that, but I'd be lying.